I'm here to receive the Birgit Grodels uh, Award. This is an award uh, in honor of Birgit, who died a few years ago, and uh, it is a prize uh, for contribution to economics by a female European economist. The problem I struggled with uh, during my career has been how to build models that were suitable for uh, uh, taking decision under uncertainty, focusing in particular about uncertainty, about data and information on the current state of the economy. In macroeconomics, uh, there is a paradox. On one hand, we have a lot of data, a lot of information are out there every day, but actually the key statistics we're interested in, for example, GDP, are published late and published after the time they refer to. So the question is, can I use other data which are available earlier in order to uh, you know, get a meaningful uh, estimate uh, and timely estimate? This is a, a typical big data problem in the sense that has a certain amount of complexity. Complexity comes from the fact that I may have to use a lot of data, so many data, but complexity also comes from the fact that uh, data are available at different frequency. For example, GDP is available quarterly, but uh, industrial production is available monthly. So I want to mix these two types of variables in a model. And also, data have different degrees of timeliness. For example, surveys, uh, they come immediately, while industrial production, they come one month after you know, the reference month. The first uh, uh, models that uh, me and my co-author uh, design could handle a lot of time series at the same time, so in the hundreds, uh, and still give uh, reliable results. We were proposing estimators uh, that uh, kind of control the volatility that comes from the complexity, you know, complexity comes together with volatility, uh, so control uh, volatility um, at a price that uh, the estimator uh, is not unbiased, like is typical in elementary econometrics, but is biased. And so a lot of this research is trying to understand the trade-off, how much I want to give up in uh, unbiasedness and how much I want to give up uh, in uh, volatility. The specific lessons from my work uh, uh, have been that uh, actually, contrary to what, what people thought uh, 20 years ago, Many data, using many data, are use, is useful also for macroeconomics, uh, also for understanding the business cycle. Uh, also, timeliness matters. Don't throw away survey information or other, you know, timely information in order to get, uh, you know, a, a meaningful signal about the state of the economy. In general, this matters for policy because, uh, you know, decisions are taken in real time. And also, the third thing is that uh, actually, however, data matters, although the economy is relatively simple because the business cycle uh, uh, is driven by few factors. So you may have data set of hundreds of variables, but at the end, the bulk of the dynamics is driven by few factors, and the data are helping in identifying these factors. Mm -hmm.